assalamu alaikum students this is nuzat nazir and i am your gk teacher so this is our lecture 13 for the class 4 and the chapter number is 15 and topic is maths of india so first i am going to tell you what is the meaning of maths so maths has been defined as a person who died or who was killed in action or in detention once again a maths has been defined as a person who died or who was killed in action or detention so this is maths and uh, like it took about 90 years for india to force the british empire to give it freedom but it was not that easy many sons of india sacrificed their lives for this noble cause okay so let's know about a few of them okay students so let's start okay first one is subhash chandra bose so subhash chandra bose was an indian nationalist whose defend patriotism made him a hero in india but whose attempt during world war second to rid india of british rule with the help of nazi germany and imperial japan left a troubled legacy and subhash chandra bose was a great freedom fighter who was the founder of indian national army tum mujhe khoon do main tumhe azadi dunga you give me blood and i promise you freedom or the ever famous words said by him and this is the picture of subhash chandra bose so subhash chandra bose was an indian nationalist whose different patriotism made him a hero in india and subhash chandra bose was a great freedom fighter who was the founder of indian national army tum mujhe khoon do main tumhe azadi dunga like you give me blood and i promise you freedom are the ever famous words said by him and he was born on the 3rd jan 1897 in katak and died 18 august 1945 taipei in taiwan so this was all about the subhash chandra bose okay second one is ashwakul khan so ashwakul khan was born in shah jahanpur north western province british india to shafiqullah khan and he was the youngest among his six siblings in 1920 mahatma gandhi launched his non cooperation movement against the british rule in india and on 19th december 1927 he was hanged to death his name is written in golden letters in the history of india and ashfaqul khan was born 22 October 1900 Shah Jahanpur and died 19 December 1927 Faizabad and this is the picture of Ashfaqul Khan so Ashfaqul Khan was born in Shah Jahanpur North Western Province British India to Shafiqullah Khan and he was the youngest among his six siblings In 1920 Mahatma Gandhi launched his non cooperation movement against the British rule in India and on 9th December sorry on 19 December 1927 he was hanged to death his name is written in golden letters in the history of India and Ashfaqul Khan was born 22 October 1900 Shah Jahanpur and died 19 December 1927 in Faizabad So this was all about the Ashfaqul Khan. Okay, third one is Bhagat Singh. So Bhagat Singh was an Indian socialist revolutionary whose two acts of dramatic violence against the British in India and execution at age 23 made him a folk hero of the Indian independence movement. And Bhagat Singh was born 28 September 1907 Banga. in pakistan and died 23 march 1931 lahore central jail pakistan and this is a picture of bhagat singh 
So for this he was hanged by the British government and he was only 23 years of age when he was hanged. Okay, so Bhagat Singh was an Indian socialist revolutionary whose two acts of dramatic violence against what? British, against the British in India and execution at age 23 made him a folk hero of the Indian independence movement. And for this he was hanged by the British government. For what? Threw bombs on the British assembly. So for this he was hanged by the British government. He was only 23 years of age when he was hanged. And born 28 September 1907, Banga in Pakistan. And died 23 March 1931, Lahore Central Jail. In Pakistan so this was all about the Bhagat Singh okay fourth one is Chandra Shekhar Azad so Chandra Shekhar Azad popularly known as by his self taken name Azad and full name is Chandra Shekhar Tiwari and Chandra Shekhar Azad had taken up arms against the British government once when he was surrounded by the British soldiers he shoot himself they'd rather being shot and killed by the Britishers and Chandrasekhar Azad was born 23rd July 1906 Bavra and died 27 Feb 1931 Chandrasekhar Azad Park Priyagraj and this is the picture of Chandrasekhar Azad so Chandrasekhar Azad Popularly known as by his self taken name Azad was an Indian revolutionary and uh, Chandrasekhar Azad had taken up arms against the British government. Once he was surrounded by the British soldiers, he sh shot himself dead rather being shot and killed by the Britishers and he was born 23rd July 1906 in Bavra and died 27 Feb 1931. Chandrasekhar Azad Park, Priyagraj. So, students, this was all about the Chandrasekhar Azad. Okay, last one is Mangle Pandey. So, Mangle Pandey was an Indian soldier who played a key part in the events immediately preceding the outbreak of the Indian Rebellion of 1857, and he was a spy in the 34th Bengal Native Infantry Regiment of the British. East Indian Company in 1984 the Indian government issued a postage stamp to remember him and he led a revolt against the British Empire by attacking the British officers for his he was hanged in 1857 and Mangle Pandey was born 19 July 1827 in Malia and died 8 April 1857 and this is the picture of Mangle Pandey. So Mangle Pandey was an Indian soldier who played a key part in the events immediately preceding the outbreak of the Indian rebellion of 1857 and he was a spy in the British army and he led a revolt against the British Empire by attacking the British officers for his he was hanged in 1857 and Mangle Pandey was born 19 July 1827 in Balia and died 8 April 1857 so students this was all about the chapter 50 and the topic was much of India so I hope so you will understand this okay students Allah Hafiz